by now the majority of the internet wrestling world and 100% of my audience knows that Jordan Grace will be challenging Roxanne Perez at NXT Battleground. Here's the question I have, though. Is there any possibility that Jordan Grace wins this thing? Common sense says it's very, very unlikely. The Sean Ross Sapp report says that she's doing three matches, one of them being um, singles competition next week on the show. There's the obvious title match. And as of now, uh, we could speculate, but I don't think anyone really knows what the plan is for the third match. We don't even know if there really is three matches. Um, if anything else is going to be in the works. But is there a chance that Jordan Grace wins this thing? This would be the ultimate shock factor. Now, as I said in my previous upload they're doing the forbidden door correctly here when tony khan does it it's every episode and it, you know it, it can be some obscure wrestler from japan some obscure wrestler from mexico and then the outcome is always the same tony khan's guy wins or tony khan's girl wins that's what seems to happen about 99 percent of the time so in a scenario like this, the common sense outcome would be that Roxanne Perez beats Jordan Grace. The problem is Jordan Grace is significantly better than her in every possible way. So would Triple H go, Not excuse me, not Triple H, but Shawn Michaels, would he go for the shock factor here? Would Is there a chance that like Jordan wins this thing? And I I would not expect that they would do some kind of rematch at you know TNA Slammiversary. But if they did, wouldn't that be insane for Jordan Grace to win the NXT Championship at Battleground and then possibly lose it at Slammiversary? I'm just saying the hypothetical scenario if this were to happen would be would really shock the wrestling world. And I don't know about you, but I could use some kind of shock factor right now. Regardless of what wrestling company you follow, or maybe you follow many companies, we just don't get those like shock factor outcomes right now. That just has not been a thing. I mean, I can't remember as a TNA fan really watching something on, on TNA and just being completely blown away by the outcome. We don't see a lot of legitimate underdog victories that aren't some kind of fuck finishes i mean nothing really just completely catches us off guard in wrestling everything is very predictable these days and while i am still leaning towards roxanne somehow beating jordan we're also talking about the knockouts champion here and tna has to protect that title protect their champion because right now, she's completely running through the knockouts division. Like, there's no one who can beat her. And I think the plan was for Ash by Elegance to ultimately beat her. But it, it just doesn't, it feels less likely that that is going to happen. I said uh, several months ago that the Ash by Elegance character needed to be a home run for TNA. And, I mean, it is a bottom of the ninth, bases loaded, you're up 3-0 in the count, and you strike out. They have lobbed so many softballs at Ash by Elegance, and it just hasn't worked. It's hard to envision at this point Ash actually beating her and be becoming the champion. It's hard to envision anyone on that freaking roster beating her and becoming the champion. And I think it would make TNA's booking even more difficult if Roxanne Perez beat her. You know, this is like your unbeatable champion at this point. So regardless, it's just going to be really interesting to see how this match shakes out, how it plays out. 
if Roxanne wins, which probably is what's going to happen, how are they going to pull this off? It's got to be a fuck finish. Has to be. You know, I don't think it would be like Ash crossing over also. If she does, she she might as well stay there in developmental for a little bit. <laughs> Work on her on her skills. I don't think it's going to cross over to that point. I don't think we're getting multiple TNA people on screen. But it just, man, it's really, really hard to envision a clean win by Roxanne Perez. So could, I mean, is this a possibility? Like, could could Jordan somehow pull this off? And if she did, would she drop it immediately? Again, like if if for if for her to win on an NXT pay per view and then to lose it on a TNA one would would be insane. It's it's even to, it's crazy to even think that that would be a possibility. But will either company take that kind of chance? I don't really know. So, you know, of course, I want to know your guys' thoughts. I would I would believe I would have to believe that the majority of you think that Jordan Grace is not winning this match. It doesn't matter if you're an NXT fan, if you're a TNA fan. It is very hard to envision Jordan walking away with the with the belt at this point. But NXT, the people in NXT, the powers that be, seem to be huge, huge fans of hers. The fans, the TNA fans, are they've been out on social media and they are fantasy booking everybody. From the freaking Undertaker damn near at this point. Of course, I'm kidding. All the way down to, I don't know, Kai and Tai. They're fantasy booking everything. Every single possible wrestler. And, you know, I really think that NXT is very interested in Jordan Grace. WWE is very interested in Jordan Grace. They're very interested in using her. I think it is more about that than... Who else can we get from TNA? I don't I don't think the forbidden door is as important to them. It really works in this case, but I really think it's more of a case of them really wanting to use Jordan Grace more than you, you know, more than trying to find a TNA talent that they can use on their roster. It just seems like she is she's what they want. You know, I'm not saying I'm sure they want to sign her, but it just seems like the focus is actually on using her. So I'm I'm sure they would love the opportunity to use her more going forward. The rumor is she has three matches. Obviously, that can change. They could be separate three-match deals. Uh, one just might be a handshake agreement at this point. So it's really going to be interesting to see how this plays out. But again, I'm going to assume Roxanne Perez wins this thing, but if they really want to like turn the wrestling world upside down, have Jordan Grace do this. Have the balls to have Jordan Grace win the title 